in, in graphing quadratics, we have ax squared plus bx plus c. Everybody's good on this? Yeah. Okay, so in graphing quadratics, remember these are the things that matter. Your a represent the direction of your parabola. So if it's positive, it's going to be facing uh, opening upward. Is everybody okay with that? So if it's positive, it's opening upward. If it is negative, it is facing downward, okay? So we have, if it's positive, it's a happy face. And if it's negative, it is a uh, frowny face. So anyway, that's a quick reminder. Our C is very similar to a slope-intercept form where we have the number at the end. This is our y-intercept. Okay, so this is representative of our y-intercept. And then the B is, um, is going to be representative of where our axis of symmetry is, axis of symmetry. Okay? Which means the, the mirror line. So if I had a, so when you have a parabola that has a mirror line, and this is my axis of symmetry, okay, is the mirror line. Does that mean it'll like, if it's like zero, does that mean it'll start on that? So let's say, it. so if my b is zero and then there's no bx, that means that it starts uh, right at zero. So axis symmetry is going to be right. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's look at an example of that. So we have this example of y equals negative 2x uh, squared plus 3. Subtract 3 on both sides and you get negative 2x equal to Right, so if I'm trying to find roots, I can go negative 2x squared plus 3 is equal to zero. I can subtract 3 on that, so that cancels out. And then we would to continue, sorry, I'll rewrite it, sorry. That's negative 2 x squared is equal to negative 3. So to finish this out, what am I doing? Divide by negative 2, so then you get x squared is equal to positive 1 half. So x squared is equal to positive uh, three, five, 3 halves. Three halves. Okay. Two, All right. Or 1 and a half. Yeah. And so then you square root it, and then you get uh, the roots of so utilizing calculator, we get positive and negative uh, 1.22? Yeah. Okay, so 1.22. All right. Everybody's, is everybody okay with that? Yes. Which, which means that when I go to graph this, all right, on my 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Sorry, this is so rushed. So if I have positive 1.22 or 1 in 22 hundredths, I'd be just past the 1 here. Okay, and if I have negative 1 in 22 hundredths, I'd be just past the 1 here on the side and the negative. Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I didn't do these too well equidistant, so I apologize for that. They're a little, I rushed. So, but then we said, hey, axis of symmetry, AOS, axis of symmetry, our mirror line. So what we usually do is do the equation of negative b over 2a. Is, it, is everybody okay with this? Yes. Okay, cool. So negative b over 2a. Uh, but in this case, we have no b, because we remember that it goes ax squared plus bx plus c, but in the one that we're doing on the other page, there is no bx that's been cut out, okay? So there's no bx here. So basically, if you wanted to do x, yeah, you're looking at negative yeah. 0 over 2a, which is uh, 2 times negative it doesn't really matter because you basically have zero, so sad face. All right, so, so our axis of symmetry is zero. Oh, my bad. My axis of symmetry is zero, and my axis of symmetry is zero. So let's get myself a... And then your, um, the point where it hits. That's my axis of symmetry is the is dotted line. Three, because it's, the y-intercept is three, so you go on three. Right, because I can plug in, since my axis of symmetry is zero, I can plug in zero here for x. Is that okay? Because you plug in your axis of symmetry in for the value of x to get your vertex, to get your vertex. And in this case, our vertex is going to match up with the y-intercept right here. Because 0 squared is 0 times negative 2 is still 0, plus 3 is 3. So we have a vertex of, whoops, so we have a vertex of uh, 0, positive 3, right? So here we are at 1, 2, 3. Now, I shouldn't have done those with dots, but um, what is the last part? It, what was the A on this equation? Uh, negative, negative 2. Negative 2. Since it's a negative 2, which direction is our parabola going to face? Uh, it's a frowning face. It's going to be pointing downward. And so it would be going this way. So this is on the test. Is it okay for just to do those three points? Yeah, it's okay to do those three points because what these three points mean is that you have a vertex and you have your, uh, you have your roots. Okay, we have our roots. These are our roots. 
So, but I wouldn't draw all these extra arrows that we see here. And they're like, look, I have roofs, and there's all these. It's it, it, it's very misleading. Okay. So now you could also go ahead, and we've done this before, where we create the x y table, right? Okay. Let me erase some of this. Um, so I can create the x y table, and if I did that, we would want to work with five points, all right? And we set our axis of symmetry. This one's going to go here. We said it was zero. Plugged in zero, we got three. And then from there, I can plug in negative one and one, and two, and negative two. And so if I plugged in one on that, uh, it would basically be looking at, um, I haven't left myself a lot of space. Oh, negative two plus three, which is Right, so it'd be negative two, and then times one squared plus three. One squared is, one. times negative two is, negative two, negative two plus three is, positive one. one. Just positive one, okay? And because these are mirror images, of each other, because <laughs> these are mirror images of each other, if I know this one is one, then this one is also one. one. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay, so I could go ahead and then solve for, find uh, one, one, and I'd have a dot right there, and then this would be negative one, one, and I'd have a dot right there. You guys okay with that? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, so, okay, so, uh, oh, what? Uh, two and negative two and negative Okay. All right, uh, let's do another one that actually has a full trinomial, okay? Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. All right, cool. So a full trinomial, let's say we had something like um, x squared plus uh, 7x. Um, minus 5. Yeah, let's go minus 5. Sure. All right, so if we were going to, um, what I want from you is that you can just graph this, but what I want from you is to first solve it using quadratic formula. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and let's solve it using quadratic formula. And so to do that, I need an A, I need a B, I need a C. Okay? And what's my A, please? One. One. That's right. Because right here is a coefficient. We don't write it, but there's a one. Do I have a B? Seven. That's right. I have seven. Very nice. Thank you so much. And then what do I have for C? Negative five. I have negative five. Okay, cool. So um, we go ahead and plug uh, this into quadratic formula. And we've discussed quadratic formula a lot. And that X. Our roots are equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Good. So now let's go ahead and let's plug in for these numbers. All right? So uh, we have x is going to be equal to negative b, so negative, negative 7. Sorry, 7 plus or minus the square root of. What is 7 squared in this case? 49. 49 minus 4 times a, which is 1, and negative 5 all over 2 times 1. Are we okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Doing okay? All right. So, all right, so I'm still running from this equation. All right, so uh, we have a negative 7 plus or minus the root of 49. <coughs> now, what is negative 5 times 1? Negative 20. Yeah, it's negative 5. And then we have negative 4 oh, times negative 20. 5 is plus 20. That's really key that we would write this plus 20 because we have the negative times the negative, making the positive. 69. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have negative 7. Sorry, x is equal to negative 7 plus <coughs> minus the root of 69. Wait, is. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yep. All over 2. It's now, 8.3. Yeah. So you're giving me the square root of 69. 8.3. Eight, sorry, a little eight, eight eight point three one. Eight point three one. Okay, so I'd say x is equal to negative seven plus eight point three one. That's the plus part yeah. over two, and we have negative seven minus eight point three one over two. This is okay. Mm -hmm. You all right with that? Yep. All right, cool. All right, let's get so here we go. And then, so help me out. What is Negative 7 plus 8.31. Uh, 0.655. You jumped a little bit. You did the dividing. So uh, let's take it step by step. So what is this part? Uh, uh, it's negative. It was no, positive, positive 1.31. So I'm looking at 1.31, positive 1.31 over 2. And then you divide it. You just told me it was what? 0.655. OK, 655. That's one of my roots. And then my second root is this one, I first need to combine those. So negative 7, negative 8 combined it, giving me negative 15.31 over 2. We divide that, we get negative 7.655. Negative 7.655? Yeah. 
Okay, sorry. I was just having trouble here. Um, cool. So this is my first route. This is my second route. Are you? Are we good to start graphing? Yeah. Yep. Any questions from right here? Any questions from right here? No. No. No questions. We're good. Okay. Uh, awesome. So if I wanted to begin graphing, I can go to. making your x and y graphs. You guys are doing great. I know we're kind of tight on time. All right, so uh, to get this guy first, negative, uh, sorry, positive um, 6 and 50. Uh, it's like a half, positive. Yeah. So it's very close to 1 half, positive 1 half. So we'll go ahead and we'll mark around the 1 half area. All right, a graphing calculator like Desmos would be amazing for this. All right, and then the next one, we have negative 7.655. So that's about negative seven and a half. Yeah, about negative seven and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Okay, and so what do we know about my axis of symmetry? My uh, axis it's symmetry, negative b over 2a. It's negative b over 2a. And the axis of symmetry, like we said before, should be somewhere in the middle here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you get a number on your negative b over 2a that puts you over here, you know you've done something wrong. If you've done your negative b over 2a and you get it over here, you know you've done something wrong. So, um, we, axis of symmetry is negative b over 2a, all right? So, what is, what numbers do I plug in for this? Negative 7 over 2. Negative 7 over 2 times 1, which and is 2. And it's negative 3. So, negative 3.5 or negative 3 and a half. So, I would bring this guy over to negative 1, 2, 3 and a half. Everybody's okay there? Yep. Nice. All right. Now, what is the next moment after I get my axis of symmetry? You what do we do? You have to plug in into the, the original equation. Right. I have to plug in uh, this number in for x on the original equation. So negative 3 and a half. Oh, I don't have my original equation. Can you guys tell me else? Sorry. X it's x squared plus 7x minus 5. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. x squared minus 7x minus 5. Minus 5. Okay. So I'm uh, plugging in negative 3.5 squared plus 7 times negative 3.5 minus 5. And just for the sake of time, you guys are using calculators today. Not every day, but today. And so what do we get for this when we square it? 49. 12.25. The, so this first part is what? 12.25. So we have a positive 12.25. And the reason being because a negative times a negative makes a positive. Minus 24.5. That's 24.5, very good, minus 5. And then you get 12.25 minus 29.5. Was it 29 or was it 24? <coughs> but if you combine. Yeah, if you combine. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Well, well, we usually append off from left to right. So I would just, OK. This one's half of this one. So I'm at negative 12.25 minus 5 gives us? Negative 29. Negative 7. Wait, oh, it's all the whole thing. Sorry, one more time. Negative 17.25. 17.25 is what I thought I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I thought negative. Oh wait, no. I I am fine to double check this work because I didn't do it myself. I thought positive. Okay. So let me let me see. It should be negative because we have the positive 12 minusing and uh, subtracting a 24 minusing. Sorry, subtracting a 24. So it should get down to negative 12.25. Minus uh, subtracting another five would give us negative seventeen point two five. What does this number represent? I forget. Wait, I thought negative twelve over ten. Yeah. So this minus this is negative twelve point two five. Oh, okay. And then my seven. Okay. Absolutely. Subtract the last five, okay. and that would get us the negative seventeen. I'm sorry, guys. What was that? Uh, what does this number represent? The vertex. The vertex. Which part of the vertex? The bottom. The bottom of the vertex. Well, the, yeah, sure. A vertex is always um, the either maximum or the minimum, but. Um, it, one number isn't a vertex by itself. Oh, yeah. It's the y. It's the y part, OK? It's the y part of the vertex, of the ordered pair. So negative 17.25. I forget what goes right here, the x part. Negative 7 and a half. So negative 3.5. Negative 3.5 or negative 3.5? Yeah. That was our AOS. Our AOS goes right here. So um, I go over here, and we had our axis of symmetry. <coughs> our axis of symmetry. 
And then we're going down, what was it, 17? 17.25. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's not accurate. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oops. <laughs> All right, so 13. Are we going to do an x and y? 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, and then the axis symmetry has to, sorry, the vertex has to be on the axis symmetry. Beautiful, super accurate. Sorry, uh, yeah. All right, so. All right. And so if I've done this correctly, what did we say our, our original equation was? Oh. Go wow, if, this, if I did this correctly, it should run through negative 5 as my y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should be hitting right here, so I graphed it rather poorly. <coughs> All right? Let me take that back a couple steps because that just looks gross. All right, so it should be coming up through there, and this is equidistant. So I should have this guy here, and allow. Again, not very attractive. But anyway, is you guys getting the basic idea? Do you have a question for me? No. No. Oh, you sure? You're good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Huh? No. Uh, no, I'm not assigning homework tonight. Okay. So, anyway. What an odd question. All right, so. Um, <laughs> All right, well, um, great. So, this video is mainly for you guys. And um, I guess review this video for your homework. That's basically oh, yeah, I forgot you were recording it. This is. Okay, so, uh, cool. All right, what? say bye myself. Bye, bye, bye. Adios. Right, I, I, awesome. Adios. I did. Uh, this is, you'll listen to this and be like, that's what I used to sound like? <laughs> when you listen to it today. Yeah. Oh, yeah.